Hey, welcome. So in this video today, I'm just going to show you how you can use Keynote to create some simple sports pitches or courts to enable your students to understand drills, practices, uh, setups of different activities that you might want to show them. Especially in this time now, you can get them to think about formations and drill setups, etc, etc. So this is how to do it. On the left hand side, you'll see that I've got uh, my highlighted slide. And in this slide, I've just got a picture of a football pitch. And what I've done is I've actually created lots and lots of different pitches, courts, etc. that I might want to use. Now to do that, it's really easy. I just tap on the slide, tap Edit Master Slide. Here's all the different uh, templates that I could use. Now, what you'll see usually in Keynote is they will all be different presentation types. You know, it might be text or photos, etc. I've just replaced all of them with an image of a different pitch or court. And I'm just going to create a new one now. So I'm just going to tap on the plus, uh, choose anyone, and I'm just going to duplicate this. And let's say I'm going to create a rugby one. I don't have a rugby uh, background at the moment. So there's my rugby one. I don't want the, the uh, netball picture on there, so I'd get rid of that. I'm just going to use the split screen now to be able to get an image from Safari. So I'm just going to drag that over here. I sped this up by having a look before. Now, one thing to just kind of highlight here is that I have actually selected the ones that are labeled for reuse. A key kind of point to, to make there that if, if they're not your pictures, and you, obviously you could create this and design it all yourself. I'm just um, kind of taking a short here, but I wanted to make sure I use one that is labeled for reuse. I tap and hold on that image and drag it across, and then I can get rid of that slide. Um, and then I can just edit this. Oops. Edit this here. I'm just going to make that, you know, fit the screen. Drag that in, just position that on the screen. There we go. Perfect. And tap done. So there we go. We've we've created that rugby pitch. And if I tap on the plus now, we can see there's the rugby pitch. Now, the next tip to kind of show here is how we can draw all over these. So I'm just going to delete that football one. So I'm just using a rugby one. And I can just take a screenshot tap on the screen and you'll see that I now have access to be able to draw all over the screen where I might say to the students, you know, I want you to, to line up along the touch line and this person here is going to be running with the ball uh, and you're all going to run along at the same time and I want the ball to be passed along the line. Okay, so you can see how you can sort of visualize to the learners what you want them to do. And it's great doing it this way, but I want to show you a quick tip which really kind of speeds up this process and, and takes it a little bit further. So rather than just having one rugby pitch, I'm just going to put in several rugby pitches. And this time when I take the screenshot, or if you've got an Apple Pencil, um, just dragging up from the bottom right corner, I'm now going to tap on full page. And what you'll see here is over on the right hand side, I now have access to all of those different screens. So I can actually pinch to zoom and create a drill, etc. maybe on this first one where I might say, you know, I want you to set up the cones in this sort of uh, formation. I want players to line up behind the cones like this. And the player's going to run in and pass the ball over uh, to their right. And then that player's going to pass and pass to the right, etc., etc. You get the idea. You can kind of build that whole play up. And then I might be working with a different group. And I might say to them, OK, I want you to, to set up a drill slightly differently. Uh, I want you to be in this formation. Um, but what I want here is I want two attackers to go against one defender. Okay, so when they go forward, this defender comes in to try to stop them, and the idea is you pass the ball to try and get around that defender. So you get the idea. You, you can just kind of go between each one of those and, and talk to different groups of people and show them what you want them to set up and then leave them to independently work. When you're done, you can just simply save that PDF, save it onto your device where you could use that later, share it out to students as, as evidence of what you've done in a lesson so they can check over it for more detail. So there we go, that's how to quickly create sports pitches within Keynote and then enhance how you use them in your lessons with your learners.